first of all, guys, congratulations. Just got picked up for season three. Yes. You're celebrating you at Comic Con. You did? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Alice, you knew this. You, you knew this. You've gone over this every day. You guys are excited. We're missing like a meal. Over here. I know. When she misses a meal. Hi, I'm Alice. Hi, Alice. <laughs> Leanne, so nice to meet you. Let's I'm doing chat. good. <laughs> Let's chat about the fact that Resident Alien is coming back to sci fi August 10th for season two, part two. Part two. You guys split up the season. You really made us wait and work for it. Chris, why did you do that? If it was up to me, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Now, the advantage of it is we actually do, we're doing 16 episodes, so we're able to do eight episodes as, as we're part of it, take a break, do the other eight. Schedule-wise, we actually needed the break to get the other eight done before, so we could air it later. So. Um, Fair. But, but the great part about it is that the first eight had a really great cliffhanger to go off of, yep. and we build into the second eight, picking up where that left off, and then build to another cliffhanger at the end of Season 2B. That's incredible. That'll launch the characters into a whole new place for Season 3. A lot of cliffs. I was going to say, a lot of cliffs, a lot of hanging. Let's so open it up cliffs. to the cast. When you read that season two finale, let's tease it for the fans out there. What was your immediate reaction? Alice? I, holy sh. I was going to say, oh, yeah. Can you can't. Yeah. Oh, you can't. I'm so sorry. You, oh, there goes, there goes season three. Oh, wow. <laughs> sorry. So close. So close. Yeah. We're this close. Wow. My, that was my reaction. I was like, wow, that's. This is the this is the cliffhanger between the two seasons or no. the final one that no one knows about. The, the final one we don't know about. Oh two. yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, now's your chance to grill Chris and see if he'll give you answers. Now that we know that season three is happening, so feel free to tee him up, guys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're putting him in the hot seat. I can't talk about season three without giving up what happens at the end of season two. I know, two. I know. But nice we, try though. I appreciate yeah. it. I tried. You guys, I tried, fans. Okay, but we do have some incredible guest stars once again joining Resident Alien. Some we will see, some we may hear. Anybody want to tee up? Oh, my. Wow. A big name. George the Gay! Oh, okay. we, can't, we can't say what, 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 no. what capacity. George the Gay! He's a new love interest for Darcy. <laughs> We got some heavy hitters. Very yeah. exciting. Yes. Is there anyone that is on your dream guest star bucket list? Anyone that you'd like to plant the seed now to have them show up in season three? Oh my God. Mark, uh, well, you already said The Rock, right? No, I, I, want, to have, I want your daughter to come back. Taylor Blackwell. Oh, Taylor Blackwell. Oh, yeah, she's, yeah. Yeah. she's so I great. really, really loved working with her. She was awesome. I would love for her to come back. We would yeah. love Alice Borstein to come back. We had fun yes. with her last season. Alex is coming back. She, was, she, she said she wants to come back. So we look like great. You're like, it'd be so great if just the entire cast of Avengers would come back. We haven't yeah. seen them since the pilot. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. when they know. did background for us, yeah. we were so like, yeah. And when the cast of Riverdale was in the background working yeah. as workmen in the plant. Um, that was really nice. And yeah, all the, just all the Vancouver that. shows, like yeah. all of the CW, once they yeah. appeared, like all the yeah, soldiering yeah. actors, like it's just so nice yeah. of them. I mean, to now that we've broken the seal with George Takei, <laughs> I don't see why more Star Trek people can't, you know, hop on through. Well, we do have Robbie McNeil, our directing exactly. producer. Oh, yeah. Beating got them our, down, Star Trek. Tom Paris, Star Trek, <laughs> Star Trek <laughs> actor guy. Yes. Alan, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things about the show is that Harry's accent is so unique. And just when I think I, I know his cadence and the way that you're going to deliver a line, it never comes out the exact same as what I would anticipate. How did you find his voice? And Chris, was that something that you always envisioned when you knew that Alan was going to play the role? No, I've said this before that I, I, I thought I knew what the character was, but I did not know what the character was until Alan got the part and did what he did. Alan really brought a, a very specific energy and a specific uh, Alan-ness to the role that I did not know that the show needed until he did it. So that was that's on him figuring that out. And there was some, you know, early on we, we tried to calibrate how much alien and how much human was in that performance. But Alan really found a sweet spot. Yeah. Alan, how do you tap into that voice? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Uh... <laughs> 
it's funny. I don't, I don't think about it. It started out that he has to speak the words individually because he doesn't speak the language. But so, but he's just pushing air across his teeth and tongue to make the sounds. You know, so it, it kind of became its own thing that way. Yeah. yeah. It is reptilian in a way, but there's this great thing that happens sometimes <laughs> when we're on set and Alan, and Alan's been doing a long, like, a lot of dialogue. He'll answer, like, a PA or something in character. This happened when we were at the 59. They were like, okay, uh, we're just going to take five and then we're going to go back to that from the top. And Alan's like, yes! <laughs> yes, we will! <laughs> Takes a minute to taper off. <laughs> I have to get rid of it before I get home. Yeah, I, I was going to say, as long as you're... Don't like yeah, it. my wife has a rule. The <laughs> alien stays... No out. aliens no. in the bed. Yeah, Reason. my dogs hate it. They bark at me. <laughs> <laughs> we are gearing up for season three. Obviously, we need season two to keep airing. But again, let's bring it back to what you guys would love to see for your characters in this world that you're building. Do you have anything? Thing that's on like your dream list for your character oh i have crashed a spaceship yep. uh at the beginning of season one mm. and now i crashed another spaceship uh same spaceship at the beginning of season two yep. i would like to crash a spaceship uh in season three if i could Ooh, uh, i just really want to like crashing spaceships <laughs> pretty good i'd like to just wrap it around uh a light post sci-fi's over there being like that again <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, how about for you? Anything that you're dying to see or get to do? Um, I did mention to uh, Alice slash Darcy that I, th I thought it would be fun for her to take Asta shopping because she's Asta's a bit of a tomboy. She doesn't have much style, and I just thought it would be a really fun sequence. Maybe also maybe just like an episode at the mall. Yeah, right. I don't hate that. That's not yeah. a bad idea. I'd like really to see all the do some, some great <laughs> work. A classic mall. makeover. Going there itself was the work. That's right. Yeah, it's good yeah. for her. What about you? <laughs> Let's keep it going. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I, you I, 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 I can't. I don't, no, don't tell the context, oh, yeah, but yeah. just in general. Yeah. Talk about what you said to me that you wanted. Oh, what are you talking about at lunch today? No, no, no. Like a couple months ago. Oh, I can talk about this. This is a cryptic conversation. I was, I, I mentioned to Chris how I, I've studied mixed martial arts for a long time, so I, I had talked to him about like a, uh, a real like hardcore Jason Bourne ugly hand to hand like fight. Uh -huh. With you know? yes. But but with with Sheriff Mike like just completely berating the person he's ass he's kicking me. It should be Darcy. Back, you know? Oh, oh you already beat my ass. You already kicked my ass once. I know. So rematch. You rolled me like a spot. Rematch. <laughs> there was a concept we had in season two in the writers room that we didn't follow through on, where uh, where Mike gives Ben a martial arts lesson. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was gonna say. Say. God, I love yeah. that. And he just like demonstrates yeah. like, all these like really painful moves. And he's like, <laughs> like, what are you yeah, teaching me? Like, you got to tap, you got to tap. But I've got both your hands. You know what I mean? Like, make me break blocks. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that. No, it sounds good. A lot. I love the mall idea too. Because right? yeah. now I'm picturing, like you said, like a half-empty mall. <laughs> and, like maybe Ben has like a candle shop in there. Yeah, it's like half candles, half like Orange Julius. I got to work there too. Just like. Chris, are you taking notes? I didn't take notes. Yeah, okay. That's a great idea. Okay. Well, there it is. There's, how can you forget these ideas? There's season three in a nutshell. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get to season three, we have to get through season two, part two. What do you want to tease out there for the fans of what they can expect from these next eight episodes? George Takei! Murder! Well, not George Takei yet, right? Well, um, uh, love. Ooh. Love. Well, there's more alien baby. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Oh, yeah. 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 
we so much alien baby in the second half of the season. That in, the, in episode eight, when we saw the alien baby, uh, it was a CGI alien that yeah. we had our, our, our team Cosa build. We had enough alien baby in the second half of the season that we actually, it made sense to build the baby. So our our special effects team. Step aside, uh, baby Yoda. We got yeah, alien uh, baby. It's really incredible. So our, That's our a team, deadly led baby. By Kelly Genie uh, uh, built this be beautifully incredible, just cute little baby that we used. Really heavy, too. Surprising. Yeah. Animatronic. Yeah. There's a couple of different people who work it. It's a puppet. And there's a couple different people that voice it, actually. Who are those people? Well, there's, there's, some, there's, some, there's some some treats coming up. Some treats coming up for that. Let's just say that the, I will say at, 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 at one point, that the alien baby will, will throw up. Oh, God. And uh, we tasked uh, Alice with doing the vocal performance of the I have throw up. Cast. Congratulations. Thank you. It's She's made it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank. That's um, really special. Did you I call your mom? Cast. Did you call your mom? constantly barfing. Love. Um, she, did this for bit. she did this bit for a long time. Yeah. In the green room. Yeah, got her cast barfing. And it got her And up. that's all the time we have There's here. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. No, really appreciate you guys stopping by. Resident Alien Season 2, Part 2, August 10th on Sci Fi. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.